Hi everyone, it's Gina K from Gina K Designs and your host of Stamp TV, and I'm excited to be part of the Stamping Village Thinking of You video hop. The Thinking of You stamp set was designed by 12 members of the Stamping Village because we truly believe in community over competition. We also believe in giving back to the community, and we'll be donating $5 from every Thinking of You stamp set sold to benefit the Save the Children organization. They are on the front lines supporting children during the COVID-19 battle. They're delivering meals to families that struggle with food insecurity. For my project today, I'm going to make a wreath on a tag. And to start, I'm going to be taking a piece of pink cardstock and I'm going to be placing it inside the wreath builder template. That piece of cardstock is cut three and three quarters by three and three quarters square. For my tag, I'm going to be using one of the Gina K Designs tag dies to cut a white tag and also a pink tag that I'll be attaching later. I'm going to use some of our dot adhesive to add some adhesive to the back of the tag, and then I'm going to be using the star that comes with the new and improved wreath builder templates to line up where I want my circle or my wreath to be, and I'm using one of the uh, cross lines on one of the points of the star to line that up perfectly. Now once I decide where I want my circle to be, then I can place that star inside the template and press down the tag so that the tag is exactly positioned where I want that wreath to be. So now I'm pressing that down and then I'm going to press down on the tag and I'm just going to make sure that it's straight if I have to shift it just a little bit, but that looks pretty good. Now this is the image that I designed for the Thinking of You stamp set. There's a few little flowers and sprigs that you can color in and also a greeting that says you are the best. But there are so many other little images that can be used in the wreath builder from this set that I think you're really going to like it. I'm going to use this little sprig of leaves and I'm going to place that off to the one side on my tag. Now I'm going to ink that up with some black onyx ink and I'm going to stamp it onto the tag. Then I'm going to turn that pink piece of cardstock to the next position in the template. And you can see it doesn't matter that the tag hangs off the edge as long as that pink piece of cardstock continues to stay inside the template, I'm going to have a perfect wreath on my tag exactly where I wanted it, guided by that star template that comes in the new and improved wreath builder templates. Now I'm going to continue to stamp this until I have my entire wreath design. Now once that's done, I'm going to add a flower. So I've chosen the smaller flower design from my contribution to this set, and I'm going to stamp that around the wreath to create a floral wreath around the outside of the greenery wreath. And all of these images can be colored in, which is really fun. Not many of our Wreath Builder stamp sets have images that you can color, so this is a great addition to your wreath building collection. So now that I have my wreath complete, I'm going to use some Copic markers to color in the greenery and also to color in the flowers. Now I'm not doing any fancy coloring for this, I'm just coloring them in, but you can do all kinds of shading if you would like. You can also use colored pencils or watercolor for this. Now I'm coloring in all of the flowers pink, and then it's going to be time to pick a greeting. Because this wreath is very small, I've designed a small greeting that will fit into these smaller style wreaths. And these images will also fit in our mini wreath builder templates if you want to use that instead. So I'm going to use the greeting that I designed for this stamp set that says you are the best. And then I'm going to stamp that in black onyx ink. And as long as that tag is attached to that pink piece of cardstock, we're going to know that everything's going to line up beautifully. So once I stamp that, my wreath is complete. Now you could trim the tag off, 
if you want it a little bit shorter, but I'm gonna leave the tag this size and I've attached a pink one on the back to hide where the Copic marker bled through. Then I'm going to stamp the sprig image along the bottom to do a little bit of detail along the border there. Create a border along the bottom. And I'm gonna color that in to match the sprigs that are in the wreath. Next, I'm going to add some twine to this tag so I can hang it on a gift. I'm going to use some gold twine and I'm going to make a loop and I'm going to feed the loop through the back of the tag. Then I'm going to open up the loop and I'm going to pull the tails through. Then I'm going to put a knot up at the top and then I can always trim those tails off a little bit shorter to complete my tag. So here's an up close look at that finished tag. And I also made a card using this stamp set using more of the elements from the images that I designed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give this wreath building technique a try. We are giving away a $50 gift certificate from each of the companies participating in today's hop. So leave a comment below for a chance to win a $50 Gina K Designs gift certificate. If you're watching this video after the contest is closed, it will be reflected in the description. Here are a couple other videos for you, including the next video on the hop and a wreath builder video if you're new to this technique. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.